Today, I'm going to be reacting to Love Me Again by V for the first time ever. Now, this is a very special video because this will be the last time I ever get to hear one of the members of BTS perform for the first time individually. Now, we've checked out all of the boys so far and we finally got round to V and I'm very excited because people tell me that this is a banger. Quick challenge for you guys. Let me know your top five solo songs from the members of bts let me know down in the comments below the amazing thing about checking out all the uh, solo work from the boys is you never know what you're gonna get they, they they've been catching me off guard with how versatile and how unexpected some of their choices are and um, that's what makes me really excited about going into this one now i'm a 33 year old metalhead from the uk just getting into k-pop for the first time ever and i'm documenting this all on here on the channel so if you want to experience this journey that i'm going for experiencing k-pop for the first time make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss a video and get to join me along the whole way also if you want to see these videos way before they hit youtube request your own videos to be reacted to and decide what we do here on the channel i do have a page on the link to that is down in the description below come and join us we're having an amazing time over there and lastly recommend me some bands recommend me some songs what videos would you like to see let me know but guys with that said hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let's get it oh interesting oh soft interesting oh that voice is just a joke dude Oh, isn't it unfair that there are people out there that look that good and sound that good? This, oh, oh man, this, this, this is crazy. Also, he is pining or kind of sad here. Oh, dude, you feel that. Oh, so he's kind of wanting someone back. Oh, dude, I love this. Oh, one of the things I love about these boys is their absolute bravery to be vulnerable in their music. You know, talk about the things because let's be honest, it's not always like the coolest thing to say. You know, like I, I, you know we broke up and i want you back kind of thing you know like i, I if, if you change your mind let me know that's quite a big thing because it can make you feel like you're insignificant or or not as important but then they're, they're not afraid to go out and say stuff like this and all, all of their individual works i've noticed this side of vulnerability that they've been showing i i really appreciate that when it, especially when it comes to anything artistic his voice is so soft man Oh. Isn't that just so like raw? Love me again like that, man. To be able to just say that out loud is so powerful. Oh, and I love this video too. Isn't that just crazy raw emotion just for someone to say i wish you could love me again you know because that's just such a it's so sad when you actually break that down you know someone saying like i wish you could love me again because that's you were just basically saying you don't love me anymore and that's like i don't want that to be a thing but even though most people would be like look if someone doesn't feel the same way about you then that's good information for you because then you shouldn't give yourself to that person you know you deserve better but it's not realistic a lot of the time. A lot of people will just generally feel like it doesn't matter that I still love them. And for him to just be able to say that is just so powerful. I wish you could love me again. Oh, man. Mm. I love his outfits in this too as well. Oh, they're all lies. Oh, dude, his voice is contagiously brilliant. Oh. When he said, you know, like, said I'll be all right, said I'll be fine, I'm sorry, I'm lying. That's just so, like, real, isn't it? It's just be able to say, like, you know, like, I, I just lied. I'm, I'm coping with this, but still I want you back. Like, 
the, and also the, the idea of someone being okay with you being someone else is almost like they've truly moved on but he hasn't and i feel like that's a real emotion that not a lot of like artists talk about is that that feeling of being stuck in a place emotionally you know oh this is going in my playlist for sure man i love these visuals man it looks like that post malone cover yeah it's so good it's got that like 90s vhs feel you know I love that, the song just breathing there for a moment, just feeling that. You need that in song, do you know? Oh, his eyes. I love that when musicians just have a moment where they just let you just kind of like sit in that moment, that vibe of what they've just given you. And also like you could just see, even though like there was that kind of like VHS blurry kind of thing, you could still see in his eyes that there was like betrayal of like pain or kind of sadness, which is just so powerful. Like he's not even singing it and not even like doing anything with his face. It's just his eyes. I mean, that's just brilliant. I mean, look, you can just see his eyes there, man. It's like there's no one home there, you know, he's just stuck. The thing is, the song is so catchy and simple hooks as well. His voice is just so... Oh, it's warm, isn't it? Oh, man, I love this. It's unfair that he sounds that good. He's unreal. He's really shining in this song. That was an absolutely beautiful, melancholy, sad song. But it's kind of like a moment where he's kind of felt that at least he's kind of getting it out, which I imagine is kind of like a bit of a release as well. But what I love truly about this song is the fact that it's very kind of low in music so that his voice can just sit on the top and it just kind of like carries you in like waves and his voice just really shines in this like there's no like big loud sounds covering it up or anything like that like he is just going for it guys let me know what did you feel the first time that you heard this song did it make you think about anything in particular let me know also does he have any other songs that you'd like to see me react to let me know down in the comments below like i said i am documenting my journey experiencing k-pop for the first time so if you do want to join me in this adventure make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out and if you want to see these videos way before youtube sees them and you want to request your own videos to be reacted to and decide what we we do here come and join us on patreon the link to that is down in the description below but guys i'll see you in the next video Peace.